today I'm joined by the Capitol Hill Grill guys, Sean Solberger from Capitol Grill in Philadelphia. Yes. And Francisco Martorella of Capitol Grill in Cherry Hill. Hi, everyone. And of course, we are also joined by Erica, our restaurant school student. So we have a few types of tomatoes that yeah, Erica this, is chopping for us. This is a, we have a, a yellow and red heirloom tomato. Good. She's gonna dice it. And we're gonna make a little salad, a little tomato salad with okay. uh, aged balsamic and extra virgin oil. So Francisco, what do we have going on over here? I see some crustaceans and some beautiful meat. We have some king crab. We have some uh, beef tenderloin. First, need to take the silver skin off here. The silver skin doesn't break down during the cooking process, so we need to take that off. So we just kind of run our knife like this. Okay, so this is good. Uh, marbling yeah. is good, but we need to, do need to remove some of the fat, especially on the exterior, like you're telling well, this us. This is not really fat. This is this is a tendon. To we'll cut it. we'll cut an eight ounce fillet, okay. which Sean is going to cook the eight ounce fillet. So now you've taken our Serrano ham, chef. Yes. And cut it in smaller pieces. And yeah, we're just going to wrap the, uh, the the mozzarella. So we enclose it. Okay, entirely like then. Yeah, and we're just going to sear it really quickly on a on a hot griddle. And we're going to uh, just sear it. Very nice. Yeah. This really, you don't really, I mean, the prosciutto is cooked, so it's a, it's a cured ham, so you don't really need so to... you're really looking for an exterior to give it, like, a nice crispy taste, exactly. right? Exactly. Just nice and brown. We'll take our tomato salad here. All right, so that's it. We're, right, we don't want the, you don't want the mozzarella to melt. You just really want right. to crisp the prosciutto. It looks like it just softens the mozzarella It, it, it really does. We're going to move on to the next part of the Oscar, which is the uh, king crab. A beautiful right. piece of seafood. Uh, uh, I'm going to show you an easy way to get this meat out. What you want to do is cut just a little bit in between the joint, right in, in between that joint. Okay. On both sides of it. So this is king? It's king crabs. There's some tasty meat. Here, Look see it slides that. right out. We're going to do a, just a simple seared tuna. We just put some salt on it, mm -hmm. right? Has just, just sprinkle let's see, a nice little crust of sesame on there. So we have a nice hot mm -hmm. skillet. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you now we'll just do one. Okay. And this really... And again, with tuna, and with, especially with this kind of gray tuna, you're just looking for a sear on the just outside, sear. right? Yep. And that's really it. And, and all the while, we're bubbling along over here. What we're going to do is boiling. we have our egg yolks in here. We're just going to add a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. Okay. Very and good. also, I like to put a little bit of water inside. And we just need the whip. You want to get in here and whip, Erica? So what she's going to do is she's going to whip that. You're going to whip that until it's a ribbon. And our, you can see our eggs are ready. They're ribbons. That we're going to show quick. the camera. That was really this quick. This is what a ribbon is. See, the ribbon holds up. So Erica, you're going to whip. I'm going to add the butter. Let's do it. Okay. So you slowly incorporate slowly the Slowly incorporate butter. the butter. So the filet, again, almost like the tuna, you're you're looking for, because we like it rare. Yeah, we're going to sear it on both sides, like two stuff. minutes on each side. And then uh, yeah. you can go in the oven. Yeah. This pan, These pans are great. You can pop them right in the oven for, for five minutes if you like, you know, medium rare or medium steak. Very, very good. All right, so we have our nice seared tenderloin so here. You're searing it on all sides, yes. too, I see. And we're going to just heat up our... This stuff, again, this, this, this crab is already cooked, so mm -hmm. you just really want to heat it up. And right in the same pan. Same pan. All right. Let's enjoy this fine, fine dinner. I'll do the slicing for everybody. Please, here. if you could slice that, that one right there. This one right here? I, that I didn't one, know you were going to go right for there. there. But in the meantime, I'm going to try some, some tuna. And it's so moist that and tender that I can just take it apart with my fork. I will try the wasabi oil. Wasabi oil is awesome. I'm going to get some steak. I'm going to get everything in one bite. crab. Here. Steak, crab, and that gorgeous up? sauce. No. Well, if he's no. feeding you. <laughs> Chef, please taste some of this steak. I will. Yeah, I've never had mm. this. Mmm. That's perfect. Me and Sean have known each other for what, 15 years? Yeah. Mm. Yep. You even feed each other, right? <laughs> well, I won't go that far. <laughs> it's not my type. Beautiful meal, gentlemen. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.